Hello, Banters. How you doing? I'm excited to be here, and I, I know, I know it's been a while since I brought out a video, and I want to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So, guys, we're going to be talking all about Linda EKG and Whiskey Gist. And I know you guys, you guys barged my social media platform telling me, Aka, you have been starving us of this gist. So, I'm here. I'm going to give it to you. All right. So, that's all we're going to be talking about today on this episode of Aka Bands. Welcome back to Akabans. Okay, so it's all about Linda and Whiskey in this episode. A man and a woman, a lady of 40 years and a guy of 25 years, allegedly. <laughs> Let me start by saying that we were on our own sitting down. And then Linda does what she normally does. She puts up a picture of her handbag, her shoes and her dress and she's like, Remember Whiskey has actually been insulting Linda Keiji from before before. Whiskey throws a grenade. No. Whiskey sends a nuclear bomb to her. Literally, like went on her page on the Instagram picture, commented there. And I was just like, huh? what the hell happened? Why? All those shoes and bags still won't help you keep a good man. You and your laptop will stay married for life. I reject that for my enemies. That's why my director F-worded you and left your ass in the hotel because your vagina stinks. I was like, what? I didn't know what had happened. Well, apparently, Linda had previously put up a post about Whiskey being evicted from his home in Lecky. We were all made to believe that this house was owned by Whiskey. Linda IKG came and told us that he was being evicted. If you know that this guy is lying, show us the C of O. Linda clapped back. She's like, no, bro. You come for me, I cut you. So my darling little friend, Whiskey, came on my IG page this morning to blast me for writing yesterday that he was given quick notice at the lucky home he claimed he bought some years ago, which he actually rented. Linda went on to say that she had never met Whiskey's director, talk less of going to bed with him, knocking him. She actually also said that Whiskey had tried to meet her at some point in time about a couple of years back and she refused to meet him. She's like, don't lobby me. Let's not be friends so I can write stuff about you when stuff comes up. She's like, oh, by the way, the Porsche car that Whiskey is riding is also on higher purchase. Next thing, before we could do fame, David came and said he's supporting Whiskey. That if Linda should try herself, she would, that they would deal with her. They went up to take a picture in a private jet. Whether they flew away or, or they flew into the country, I don't know. The video was saying if you F with him, which is Whiskey, you F with us. Few minutes later, Bado Snare reposts the picture and says, share the love. So apparently, this is three guys teaming up against this lady. Big A, we had shit, nigga. Oh, love, nigga. <laughs> Money, nigga. <laughs> Fuck the blogs. This video irritated everything. Like, I saw it and I nearly puked. Like, he's wearing a jacket with a confederate flag on the sleeve. It's either of two things. He doesn't know what it is, or he does and he doesn't care. Number one, if you, know what it, if you don't know what it is, it just means that you reek and stink of ignorance. And you're illiterate. And you have a team that, 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 that tells everybody that they're professionals, but they don't know jack shit. I'm just like, why would you put the confederate flag on your sleeve? You're insulting my ancestors, your ancestors, insulting the black race, and supporting the KKK. Like, maybe he actually knows that the second part. Maybe he actually knows what it is, but he wants the KKK to now be part of his fan base. Maybe. Or maybe some racist slave driver said, put it on your jacket and I give you $2 million. I don't know. Can, Davido can do that. Plus, Davido, the video, you, like, on the video, Davido comes up and he's like, we're making money, shit. I don't, I, I can never hear what he says until he's singing because his voice is just not existing. We're making money. We're making money, shit. And we're making, everything's not about money, Davido. We know you're making money. Calm down. But really, your money cannot feed a nation. Whiskey, I expect so much more from you. You're older than Davido. You've been in the industry more than Davido has been in. If there's anything you should have done, you should have learned from Banky W. You, you take shots at her because you started driving a Porsche at 25. Nigga, this woman bought a house on Banana Island and could buy one on Plantain Island if there was at age 40. But as a woman, you're a man, bro. You're a man. 
Why did you have to drag her mom into this? And you're actually saying that you would encourage your 16-year-old cousin to beat up Linda Ikeji? Really? Is that the kind of attitude you're actually encouraging from the youth? Later in the future, you come out, you cannot support violent free elections because you, you, you're supporting this kind of behavior. Plus, you're representing brands. So I'm telling Pepsi them to actually sanction this kid and let him know that they do not stand for this, okay? And let them be more responsible. You cannot be calling out on a woman's private parts and using the F word and the B word and dragging her family and you're representing respectable global brands. Children are following you on Instagram. They're seeing these things. Stop it! You actually came for bloggers nationwide. You said you are only, you, you are nothing but a blogger. No matter the money you rake up, it doesn't change that. Like, you can attack Linda Ikeji for the way she blogs, but don't attack her for being a blogger. Why? Because what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that all bloggers, like, blogging is not a respectable, like, occupation? Are you trying to come after all bloggers now? Is blogging now a sin? Whiskey, I will fight you on this issue. Okay? All right. Again, guys, <laughs> whatever you just saw before now. Of course, it's been exaggerated for the show. But seriously, Whiskey, you're a big boy. You're earning millions and millions of naira. You're making money. You have a PR team. Get your PR team to handle this. If it's not true, get them to, you know, call her up to take it down and, you know, apologize or something. Plus, if it's true, you got to pay your rent, bruh. Anyways, uh, so, um, Linda KG, you two, you two calm down. <laughs> Everything. I feel like, Linda, like, you literally have, like, snitches in every entertainer's camp. Like, you're paying people off to snitch on them. Like, I know that, you know, sometimes you're... Your story is really legit. People always say, yeah, it's something. You should just do it to... It's legit. Okay, guys, forget about whiskey. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, you better subscribe. Uh -uh. Guys, I beg now. Help us to pay our own rent. <laughs> you see that we've bought a new camera. We've upgraded. So all you have to do, you are watching video for free. All you have to do is just press that button, subscribe, follow me, comment, share this video. Okay, guys, peace off.